Okay, she's off. We're moving with live explosives here. Okay, stop right there. Each of those rocket motors is four or five sticks of dynamite. Go back up, stop, Pete. God damn, just had it. Those things are dangerous. They do kill, and if you don't know what you're doing with the thing, you stay away from them. Up! Today, what we are doing is we're going to remove the live ejection seat. It has the explosives in it, and it's ready to go as soon as that pilot pulls the handle. In the event of an emergency, a pilot can rescue themselves by activating the ejection seat mechanism. Once the pilot pulls the lever system, the canopy explodes, and the solid rocket boosters fire the seat and pilot up and out of the cockpit to help them escape safely. Only specialized mechanics are allowed to actually do a detailed inspection. If everything is good today, we hope to get the seat out, inspected, and then back in in one day. Our mechanic for that is Kevin Reed. I've been inspecting ejection seats for close to 30 years. I work on military aircraft, so I have a, a primary job, and I do this on the side. Hey, Art, how you good doing? Good to see you. Thanks for coming out and giving us a hand. Uh, it's the first civilian-owned military aircraft to be flown in air shows, and I thought it'd be a great chance to be a part of history. The ejection seat is a big deal because we don't have a lot of spares readily available. And if something were to not pass inspection, then we've, we could have some issues, and that just adds to the stress of trying to get it all done in a short period of time. Well, you want to check up there and see what we got going on and what we need to, to do? Sam's here is going to help you. Awesome. He, he can do anything. He's been, he's been working with us for a better part of a year here now. Okay. Kevin's been on the team for, uh, this is our 10th year now. Cool, cool. Yeah. So if you wouldn't mind stepping up on the other side, then yeah, uh, no give problem. me a hand. Yeah, no problem. Usually it would either be Rich or myself that would be up there, but uh, we wanted Sam to get the experience on it. OK, we're going to take a loose these uh, two peat up lines on this side. This is my first time ever working on taking the ejection seat out of a Harrier. So I mean, this is like an exciting thing for me right now. You good, Sam? Yeah, we're good. Up! Up a little bit. Kevin has completely prepped the seat. It's ready to lift back up. And Pete's on the forklift, ready to uh, drive in, and we'll use our crane to lift it out. One false move can set the explosive rockets off, putting everyone in danger. We're moving with live explosives here, and these aren't firecrackers. Each of those rocket motors is uh, four or five sticks of dynamite. Okay. Up! So we have to be very careful not to trigger anything that could create a problem. OK, she's off. Those things are dangerous. They do kill. And if you don't know what you're doing with the thing, you stay away from them. Trying to avoid any sudden movements, the team lowers the seat to the ground. OK, stop right there. After the chair is lifted safely from the plane, it has to be perfectly seated into its housing. How you doing over there? Good. OK. Go back up. We're stop, Pete. Damn, you can move the stand. Up. Stop. Up. It kind of got a little hectic there for a second, trying to get the seat in the stand. I need to come down. Help! Come in. OK. We got the seat out. We got it installed in our seat stand. We got a chance to look at it from all angles. And then we're preparing to put it back in. Uh, we'll clean the cockpit up, make sure there's no foreign object damage that could get stuck in flight controls and create an emergency in flight. We can find the uh, m and Of course, pens, pilots always lose pens. After meticulously cleaning out the cockpit, the crew starts to put the ejection seat back in. Then, Art discovers a critical piece is missing. The, what we're worried about more now is we've somehow lost a washer, and we can't tolerate that. You cannot tolerate any lost parts, but bolts, washers, screws or tools or whatnot, you've got to find it. Even the smallest objects can create the biggest problem for a pilot's safety if they're not found. I want to hope to find that washer laying right. If it's not found, it could mean life or death for the pilot. Murphy's Law would say that it would probably end up in the most critical moving part and jam that part so it wouldn't work. It's right there. Art. That's it. Yep, that's it. Perfect. Save the day. Thanks, Pete. Everything has been checked out on the seat. Feel confident if they have to use it or need it, uh, everything will work great. All clear. 
you have one thing checked off the list, we got a dozen more or so, and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. The Harrier and the L39 are ready to go for the season. On the next episode of Badass Pilot, we meet a new pilot that could be the future of the team, but she still might need a little more flight time. Okay, let me try one. Oh, I'm gonna make this trip, guys. Eventually, all pilots have to hang up their wings, so it's important to find the right person to pass the controls to. Flying a Harrier is complicated, I mean really complicated, so it's crucial to prepare our next pilots so they're ready for this hot ride. The future of Team Shark takes to the skies next week, so please like and share this video and subscribe to AARP's YouTube channel so you don't miss your flight.